Did you fight James Thompson last? Not quite James Thompson. James Thompson? And you fought for Doom also. Back in Pride, right? Pride? This guy, not many people are giving him credit. Sergey. He fought both of these guys. He's the only guy in the tournament to beat Verdun and also Alistair Over. And I knew when I saw you, you can't be a bodyguard because you have the cauliflower ears. So I knew that you're a fighter. Same team, Golden Glory team. What? Golden Glory team. Same. You're in the same team? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to ask you, is this the biggest heavyweight tournament Grand Prix in history? Oh, yeah. yeah. Definitely. Sure, man, sure. yeah, yeah. Look at these names. The names on this card. Never. All the best guys. Amazing. What? It'll be really good. You know? Exciting. Exciting. I know, but the tap. What? Yeah, I feel the same. I feel the same way. Think that people are not giving enough attention that might that could possibly maybe walk away with this whole thing. For me, I think very much these two can be the two final guys, you know. Really? I think so. So you think he's gonna take care of business against Arlovsky, right? Yeah. 100%. You know, Arlovsky, I spoke about it in my vlog, that's a dangerous guy. You know, he, Everybody is dangerous, you know, but he, he uh, knocked out man. Man, he knocked out Roy Nelson. Yeah. Did you see the fight Roy Nelson against Dos Santos? Uh, you know Dos Santos? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Man, take a lot of beating, man. He went, uh, he went three rounds with him. Uh, uh, that guy hits people, yeah. they go out, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he, yeah. you know, and, and Alofsky, you know, he... Folks, gotta clear this area. He, he just kicked this guy, knocked him up. That's, I mean, that's impressive. So your name again, I have to have your full name. Uh, John Olaf Ainamo. Ainamo. Ainamo, yeah. So where are you fighting now? You're just still doing training? And... Yeah, we're just negotiating now a new contract. So, With the strike force? Don't know yet. Another promotion. Year, really? Yeah, big time. Uh, not my decision, you know, my, my our manager picked this. Uh, I saw you in Pride. I remember you. I remember one of your fights with James Thompson. Yeah, yeah, that was, yeah, yeah. That's a big guy. Big guy. Yeah, I, saw, I saw the fight against Overeem. We, we got him in a guillotine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah, a yeah. stand-up guillotine. That's, yeah, a, yeah, yeah. that's a tough thing to do. Yeah, yeah he, he's one of the biggest comeback fighters. You know, he was on a decline and he came back and surprised everybody. Yeah, he's, uh, he's a monster. Though. How does he do? Huh? How, let me ask you as an athlete, how do you find that somebody can do two things at once? It's a lot of pressure, right? Like K1 and MMA, you mean? How do you do that? Stay healthy, that's tough. Yeah, it's tough. But you know, both of Dora, they have uh, the best K1 guys, you know, so they're training all the time with the K1 guys, stand up. So then it's... You understand what I mean? Because they always train with the good uh, K1 He's guys, always you know? involved. He's always involved in yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it. Just of course you have to focus a little bit uh, more K1 before the tournaments and these things. But uh, he's got so good stand-up to Alistair. So, uh, so he, he has a chance to get four belts. That's crazy. <laughs> if he wins this thing, he has the four belts he's going to have. I, I'd love to see these two guys go at it again. Rematch between Sergey and... It will be, they call it a rubber match. You know, one win, the other guy wins. Yeah, yeah. yeah. final one, huh? You know, it's interesting, uh, uh, Barnett, you know, that guy... Sneaky guy, man. He, can, he, can, uh, he has some crazy leg locks and stuff. Uh... You know what's interesting about him? If you look at the tournament, all the fighters, he's the only guy that hasn't fought either of these guys yet. He didn't fight nobody here, huh? Yeah, he did. Think about that. It. It's interesting, right? But he's been away for a while now. Well, it's not the fact that he's been away. He's been doing this a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And these are all great fighters, you know? So it, that he didn't fight him, that's pretty interesting. So, he, you know, because either one of these guys fought at least one of the other guys. So it's an interesting strategy from both sides. They didn't fight, fight each other, it's like a surprise. It may come to his advantage, too. I saw a fight with him against Randy Couture, man. That guy's a... So you know Randy Couture, right? He was in trouble. Randy, when was this? A long time ago. Huh? Years ago. Randy was...
was on top. Yeah. Ground and pound. Yeah. And he got out of that position. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And then he won the fight. Come back. He's a good comeback fighter. I remember he won also Minotauro. What? I remember he won also with Minotauro with those bonnets. The knee bar. Oh, no, Gara. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Maybe, maybe. Minotauro had, the, had that fight, you know? But he just made a mistake and left his uh, leg inside. You can't make a mistake in this business. No. That's, uh, you make a mistake, you're... Yeah, yeah. That's it, man. You're, you're... The guy is... Uh, <laughs> you know? Very nice guy. Very nice guy. Yeah, he is. Thank you, man. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Good luck in your next fight. Thank you. I hope things work out for you in the UFC. All right? Me too. Okay, MMA Rants here with... John Alal Ainemov. Mr. Ainemov. Yeah. Good luck, man. Thank Best you. of luck. Thank you.